If you want to play Richi Mahjong online against other players, the platform you're probably going to want to use is Tenho. However, if you don't understand Japanese, it can be a little bit tough to navigate the website and the gameplay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download a Chrome extension or a Firefox add-on that translates the Tenho interface into English and also uh, some basics on how to use the platform. So first you've got to download the extension or add-on depending on which browser you're planning on using. Um, the link will be in the description below and for this example I'm just going to use Chrome. As you can see this extension will uh, translate the uh, HTML5 web client of Tenho from Japanese to English and it's very simple all you have to do is add it to Chrome and then as soon as it starts up it's going to ask you uh, to choose a few settings if you can't tell the tiles apart yet you might want to choose labeled it'll have the little labels uh, for each tile mainly for the Manzu and uh, the honor tiles but I believe it also has the numbers on the Pinzu and Sozu tiles as well and there's a few different sets of translations that you can choose from. I'm just going to leave it on the default Romaji. And now we'll be able to navigate Tenho's interface in English. So you can go to Tenho.net and scroll down to hit this play button. Or you could just go to Tenho.net slash three, the number three. If you hit this play button or the, the link below it though, it'll show you this page where you can choose uh, which client you're going to use. Uh, you have to choose the web version, the middle one, and that again is just tenho.net slash three. So if you don't have a ID for Tenho yet, you can click new ID here and just enter a name. Uh, you can't use a name that someone else has already chosen, but other than that, you can just choose whatever eight characters you want and hit okay. Once you do this, if the name hasn't already been taken, you'll be given an ID string. Uh, that essentially serves as your password, so you should make sure you save it in some way, write it down or whatever to make sure you don't lose it. I'm not going to make one here, but I'm going to continue uh, using a, a guest login to go through the interface a little bit. So the first screen you'll see upon logging in is uh, this one. You can play practice games against the computer just to get used to the interface. Or if you hit this right button once, you'll get this screen where you can choose from a few different games. Tenho supports both four player and three player Mahjong. And there are four different uh, rooms. Everyone starts in the Ippon room and you can choose either Tonpusen, Fast Tonpusen, Hanchan, or Fast Hanchan. The fast just means that you get less time to make your decisions. And these options at the top here, they will have Red Dora. If you scroll to the bottom and you click this button, show slash hide Kuitan Nashi game. And then you go back in. You'll get these options if you scroll down. Again, there's a, either Tonpusen or Hanchan. Uh, Nashi Nashi means that there's no uh, Red Dora and no open Tanyao. Aka Nashi just means that there's uh, no Red Dora, but there is still open Tanya. So looking at these numbers here, the number on the right is the number of players currently playing uh, in this mode or on these tables. The number on the left is the number of people who are queued and waiting for a game. As you can see, the, the, the Nashi games have very, very few people playing in them. If you want to get games, you probably have to play with Red Dora. That's just how Tenho is. So to queue for one of these games, you just have to click on one of them. So I'm going to do the just the normal speed Hanchan with Red Dora. And then you can hit the queue button next to it. And you'll see when you hover over the queue button, at the top of the screen, it shows you essentially what are the rules. As you win games, when you gain these points, it increases your ranking if you're playing on the ranking lobby or lobby zero, which is the default lobby. And once you get to higher rankings, you'll be able to play in the higher level rooms. 
and gain more points, but once you get to a certain point, uh, you'll also be able to lose points. So it won't be as forgiving as uh, you just don't get any points for third or fourth. You might actually lose points if you get fourth. There's a few other menus here that you can uh, go through to see your uh, monthly stats or just raw stats. You could also go through replays, but for for these things, you have to have a registered ID. So that's pretty much everything I'm going to show you for today. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.